and welcome back to the anime news for the week ending uh, November 18th, 2017. Apologies, it's coming out a little later than usual. Um, had some things crop up, but let's get to the news, shall we? Uh, beginning with news of a new Fist of the North Star ebook that has been announced. There was a campaign, Kickstarter campaign, to fund this ebook version of the entire Fist of the North Star manga, all 18 volumes plus the bonus chapter. But this is not your typical ebook. This will be released in both English and Japanese on a specific device called an E1 book made by Progress Technologies. It has this high res display within it, and um, the, the manga will be essentially within this one single use device. Um, they begin to they, they plan to begin, to begin producing it in January and ship it in February. So you can probably expect you know it may ship a little later than that. You know what crowdfunding is like, but uh, cool for all those Fist of the North Star fans. Hope that that works out well for them. Moving on to discovery of a script for the original Astro Boy series. Eiji Otsuka, a professor um, at the International Center for Jap Japanese Studies found a, an unused script for the original Astro Boy with an, a different episode one than intended. This was one in which Astro Boy was going to face off against Frankenstein that was uh, not the actual Frankenstein, a robot that would be controlled by evil doers. And um, it was written not by Tetsuka himself, but by somebody who had been tasked to write the episode. There are also notes in there from Tetsuka himself about how the story was supposed to, um, or should have developed. And uh, no one's not quite sure why the particular episode was unused, but that's just you know kind of what happened apparently. Um, it's kind of interesting to see a a script from a 1963 series that we just suddenly found out about. The n first new Godzilla anime film aired in Japan recently and did pretty well. Came in at number three for the weekend. Um, this was this past this current uh, most recent weekend. Uh, January 18th to 19th, um, it earned about $900,000 U.S. equivalent and is projected to, to earn quite a bit more, um, certainly into the millions. Uh, sold 71,000 tickets on Saturday and Sunday. So good for them and a good sign for that particular project. Uh, not such a good week, however, for a Japanese man who was arrested for selling some stickers for Girls and Panzer. Uh, he made some sticker sheets that showed the uh, school crests from Girls and Panzer without permission from copyright owners. Um, he was arrested by the Okayama Prefecture, Prefectural Police and um, has submitted to the charge. What's kind of sad about it is that uh, he was offering the stickers on some internet auction site for the equivalent of about five bucks per sheet, and he sold a total of two. So not a huge success for him, and uh, he's certainly paying the price for that. So sorry, dude. Maybe uh, don't do that again next time. Not really a very, uh, not really a very helpful way to uh, to progress as a as a person. Just, just maybe maybe try something different next time. Uh, moving on, Seven Seas has been announcing some licenses recently. Um, they've licensed the original Tenchi Moyo novels. Uh, these are three novels, I say original, they are novels by the original creator of Tenchi Moyo that delves into the backstory of the universe, and it is all canonical to the OVA uh, timeline. So, looking for more about Tenchi and that universe, um, it will be released print and digital uh, in June, at least the first volume will. Uh, they've also licensed the original Space Battleship Yamato manga, um, which will release in one... Uh, one omnibus volume uh, titled Space Battleship Yamato, the Classic Collection. That'll come out in about a year, October 30th, 2018. So uh, some classic stuff coming to American shores, which I am certainly not going to complain about. Speaking of classic stuff and mecha stuff, uh, Bright Stuff has announced that they uh, will be releasing Gundam Age, Gundam Unicorn, Gundam UC, and Gundam Double O on home video. The uh, Sierra, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I believe uh, Gundam Age will be on um, Blu ray, um, as will Unicorn and let's see here, I double O will be Blu ray and DVD 
Um, so not sure if there's going to be a DVD release of Age, which is kind of interesting. Um, they are planning on having uh, English dubs on there, and those English dubs will um, be the original English dubs. They're not going to not going to redub these uh, in this case. So more Gundam coming over here in legitimate ways. I am not complaining about that at all. Uh, finally, some uh, uh, also ultimately positive news. Uh, a crowdfunding project was launched recently for. Uh, voice actor Chris Ayers, who is diagnosed with uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, uh, it sought to raise twenty-five thousand uh, dollars and has already uh, raised thirty-five thousand dollars towards medical bills for him. It was organized by the uh, Anime Twin Cities project, headed by Anton Peterson. So uh, that money will go towards his uh, towards his disease, and hopefully that will help to uh, uh, to resolve that, or to at least uh, help treat it. Uh, this is a, a, a major illness that requires a double lung transplant, um, and it uh, means you know he can't kind of he kind of can't work as a voice actor uh, with something like that. So these bills are pretty significant. Good to see that's there. Uh, if you're interested, please go and um, consider donating more. Um, you know, medical bills are always higher than anticipated, so that will definitely go towards a worthy cause. So that's all the news from this week. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, see you next week with more.